Hello, and welcome to Joomla Development 101. In this introductory session, we're going to discuss what exactly is Joomla and who am I. First, let's begin by looking at what Joomla is. Joomla is a content management system, or CMS. If you're not familiar with a CMS, a CMS is a system which can be used to manage the content of a website. Usually this is something that is extremely helpful for an end user who doesn't know HTML, doesn't know any sort of programming language, and yet still wants to maintain the content that exists on their website. A CMS like Joomla allows the user to log into an admin panel and directly from the website make changes to the content, the menu items, the structure and module positions of their website. Specifically, Joomla follows a model view controller architecture pattern. This is a very common pattern which is used by most modern CMS systems. What it does is it separates the business logic in the model from the controller which directs the activity and the view which displays it on screen. This is often referred to as object-oriented programming. So as we work through this series, you will learn model view controller and object-oriented programming because that is what Joomla uses to build its infrastructure. So let's look in a second at what Joomla's website looks like, where you can download it from, and kind of get a feel for just exactly what you should be looking for. Before we do that, let me give you a couple of quick Joomla statistics. The project itself was started in 2006. It was originally, before that date, under the name Mambo CMS. In 2006, the Joomla project split or forked from the Mambo CMS and continued under the Joomla name. Since that time, it has grown extensively around the world. Currently, in 2013, Joomla powers over 3.3% of the entire internet. Additionally, it has over 40 million downloads of the software. And the community which surrounds Joomla is growing massively and constantly. Over 1,000 new forum posts are committed every day to the forum software that Joomla runs. In addition, there's GitHub repositories and magazines and all types of working groups which can be a source of involvement for getting involved more with Joomla. So, before we go any further, I guess I should tell you a bit about myself so you know who's leading these sessions. My name is David Hurley. I'm an entrepreneur and a coder. At my heart, I'm a complete and total geek. I love writing code, but I also love sharing that code with others. I run a small business in North Carolina, and we do Joomla application development, components and modules. We often do customized work for people. But in addition, I spend a good bit of my time working in Joomla as a volunteer. I am the community development manager for all of Joomla, which is a long and fancy way of saying that I get to travel the globe and meet new people and listen to their thoughts and ideas for how Joomla can be better in the future and work on getting more people involved with Joomla. I'm also a member of the production leadership team. We kind of organize and maintain all of the code we organize the releases, and we make sure that everything is hopefully always stable and bug-free. I'm also a CMS and framework maintainer, so I'm doing a lot of commits in GitHub where we store our code base. I'm going to talk more about versioning later. It's going to be important to know about. Just for now, I'll mention that I am on both the CMS and framework as a maintainer. I'm also a member of the security team and the bug squad, and as I mentioned earlier, I travel around the world getting to talk about Joomla and other open source topics. I also frequently write for the Joomla magazine, particularly on the development level, bringing in new code ideas and how other people can be involved with Joomla and how to grow your technical skills. So let's look real quick at the Joomla website. This is the Joomla website. From here, joomla.org, you can read more information about Joomla itself. You can find out more information about upcoming events, the companies that are using Joomla, and a variety of different news sources. 
If you navigate to the Joomla or the download section, you will find where you can download Joomla. You can also get Joomla through Fantastico or Softaculous or a variety of other cPanel based installer systems. If you wanted to install locally on your machine, the download page of Joomla.org gives you the opportunity to download the file package direct to your computer. This is what we'll begin to look at in the next lecture.